Hello and welcome to the General Receipts video tutorial for EasyLaw. Use the Enter Receipts or Retainers feature to record payments from clients and to record other receipts received by your firm. Receipts entered on clients reduce your accounts receivable and increase your bank balance. I recommend that whenever possible you enter general receipts from your deposit book. When the total at the bottom of the screen matches the total in your deposit book, click Post. EasyLaw will update the bank reconciliation program and general ledger with a total deposit for the day, the same way the bank will update your bank statement and this will make reconciling easier. Direct deposits should be entered separately. General receipts debit the general bank account and credit accounts receivable fees and or disbursements. Click Enter Receipts or Retainers to proceed. In the upper right hand corner of the screen you have the option to print receipts and also a deposit slip. These must be selected before you save and post your entries. Receipts print when you save a transaction and a deposit slip prints when you post the batch. These features are optional. Enter the General Ledger bank account number or press F5 to display a list to choose from. You can only enter general receipts for one bank at a time. Enter the date of your general receipt entry or press enter for today's date. Select either Client, Unbilled Disbursements, or GL. The default is Client. Select the Client or General Ledger or press F5 to display a list to choose from. If you selected the Client option and entered a Client number, a window will display the outstanding accounts for that client. If you selected Unbilled Disbursements, and entered a client number, a window will display with the outstanding disbursements for that client. If you selected GL and entered a general ledger number, you will have the option to enter a reference number. Press enter to accept the next receipt number or enter a receipt number of your choice. Press enter through payment type to accept the default of check or press F5 to display a list to choose from. Enter a description of the receipt or press F5 to display a list to choose from. Click quick fill option to create auto text that will automatically insert in the description field. Press the space bar after entering a quick fill code to display the auto text related to that code. If you selected the client option, enter the receipt amount. This will flip to a negative amount as it is crediting the receivable and the total receipt will be allocated to fees, disbursements and taxes based on the original client bill and the amount of the payment entered. Disbursements and taxes are always paid first. Click Save. Fees must be distributed to the correct lawyer. Type A to distribute the payment to the responsible lawyer. Type P to prorate the fees based on the bill. Type M to allocate the payment manually. If you select M, enter the lawyer number and the amount to be distributed. Continue until the balance remaining is zero. Continue entering transactions until the total general receipts on the bottom right is equal to the amount in the deposit book. You can access the unposted tab to delete your transactions. Remember that you can exit without posting and continue entering transactions at a later time. Click Post to finish. General Receipts automatically defaults to Enter noted above the Bank Account field, but you can reverse previously posted general receipts that have not been reconciled. Simply click Reverse, followed by the Bank Account, 
date, and client number, and then select the receipt to reverse. The entry will display on the screen where you have the option to specify the reversal date or leave the date the same as the original general receipt and then save the reversal. Thank you for watching the General Receipts video tutorial.